Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Monday, November 27th, 2017. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Every time you turn around, it feels like we got a brand new star crashing the headlines in the classic physique division. But it looks like we might be seeing an old familiar face crashing some headlines of his own in the 2018 season. Of course, I'm talking about former men's physique Olympian Jason Poston, who got everyone buzzing late last week when he dropped his first official post-holiday update photos. On his Instagram, Poston revealed that he was planning to bring his talents to the classic physique division in 2018, where he'll look to join the Arash Rabars and Sadiq Hodzovics of the world on the list of crossover superstars. At this point, it's still impossible to know exactly how he's going to stack up in this division that is absolutely loaded with killers. But I know there are a whole lot of fans in Post and Nation out there who sure can't wait to find out. Even though it seemed like everyone in America was busy bumping elbows with strangers and spending money they don't have on Black Friday, apparently there were still a few holdouts. Late last week, we saw some new videos surface from 2008 Mr. Olympia, Dexter Jackson, who looked like he was more than ready to pull out all the extra Thanksgiving Day carbs to work with an early morning pump session. As always, the blade looks like he's still in flawless condition and on track to add another chapter to his historic legacy next season. And wherever it is that he ultimately ends up dropping in, you can take it as a 100% money-back guarantee that we're going to get the very best version of Dexter Jackson that he has to offer. You know what? These days you've got to be pretty special to walk from an amateur level onto a pro stage and make your presence felt from day one. And for Rigno Legacy Classic champ Stan Morrison is that kind of special. Less than a week after setting the men's physique world on fire with his blistering late season performance, the rookie phenom sure hasn't wasted any time getting right back to business. Members of the Morrison camp released some new back training footage over the weekend, giving us a chance to catch up on one of the more exciting young prospects in the division, doing it at what he does best. And at the moment, Morrison seems like he's riding one hell of a hot streak. And with the Arnold only about 14 weeks away now, it sure would be fun to see him ride that hot hand all the way to Columbus to see how he might stack up against some of the best in the business. I think sometimes when you find yourself on the outside looking in, all of a sudden it lights a fire under your butt. And fresh off his 7th place finish at the NPC Nationals, heavyweight monster in training Jordan Janowitz definitely looks like he's feeling the heat these days. Over the weekend, the Janowitz camp leaked some video from one of their more recent chest workouts, where we see the big man making a pair of 150s look like they're nothing but light work. When you look back at the overall look that Janowitz brought to the Nationals, it's hard to come up with a reason as to why this guy didn't even make it into the first callout. But now that he's going to spend his entire offseason Training with a huge chip on his shoulder, you can all but guarantee that Janowitz 3.0 will make it his personal mission to come out and be undeniable next year. The older I get, the more I admire athletes who have that old school Rich Gasparri never say die attitude. And there aren't too many guys out there who embody that right now more than up and coming UK heavy hitter Owen Powell. Over the weekend, we saw Powell sneak into the gym for a little early morning leg action as he works his way through the latest phase of his off-season program. Right now, Powell looks like one of those guys who's going to be a serious contender on the classic physique stage at some point in the near future. And as long as he can steer clear of the injury bug, I think we're going to see this guy really start to come into his own by this time next year. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. <laughs>